requires me to use a Boston accent when I say it, so I just want to let you know before I turn into Charlene real quick. Give it up for Dana Fuller, everybody. How y'all feeling? Good? Nice. I like comedy, man. Comedy is my passion. You know? Something my dad once told me when I was a kid was always follow your dreams no matter what. And I have. The only problem is, according to the police, that's harassment. They just wish you'd call me back. I don't know, people think I'm fucking stupid though, you know? Everybody thinks I'm fucking stupid. You know? Nobody respects me, just like the people in the back. Everybody always asks me, you know? Dan, do you enjoy being mentally challenged? I say, yeah, I do puzzles every day. Not as far as kind of cool though. I like it. I like it. I've always wanted a table that I can't sit down at. That's cool. It's new age, I guess it's healthy to stand, but I eat cheeseburgers and milkshakes, so what do I know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Anybody in the room, yell it out. Who's your, who's your number one artist that you love? Anyone? Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Okay. I never thought a blind guy would be my hero, you know? <laughs> nah, my hero's Eminem, you know? <laughs> easily, easily. Nobody likes him anymore. I love him. I just got his merch, bro. It always sells out. You can never get it. You can never get it, you know? Everybody thinks he's corny though, you know? Everybody. But me, I love him, no matter what he makes, you know? It could be a whole album of him slapping a fucking spoon and gets a bowl of mail. And just say you don't get it. It's about being white and being slapped around all the time. Yeah, I don't know. Who likes rap? Y'all like rap? Yeah? Rap music's fucking tight, dude. You know? I consider myself to be the 50 cent of comedy. You know? I mean, I'm white, but hold on. Alright? Look. I was stabbed seven times, you know? 50 was shot nine. You know? The only difference between me and him, you know, besides me being him, is that he had a million dollar price on his head. When they came to me, they said they were doing a service to the community. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know, I love, uh, I love rap music, but I think, uh, I think just things have changed, you know? Like, things, uh, things aren't as cool as they used to be. I feel like music died when my grandma did from COVID. You know? I think it was over at that point, you know? Because now everything for some reason is like acceptable. COVID has made us weird and we're all like, yeah, you know? How much weirder could it get? You know? Who cares? You know? I don't know, man. Like, it just doesn't fucking make sense to me, you know? You know, she always tell me, don't listen to Eminem, that's the devil's music, you know? But now I think, you know, like Judas Priest walked so little Nas X could slide down a pole to hell and give a lap dance to the devil. Fucking A, you know, it's just... Yeah. I don't know, man. I love 
smoking weed though. You know? yeah. It's hard not to want to listen to rap music and smoke weed at the same time. You know? yeah. Why wouldn't you? Smoke weed every day. Yeah. Yeah. But things with weed have even changed. Oh my god. I know. Yeah, smoking weed has changed, you know? Thank you. <laughs> Fucking, uh, you know, I mean, kids, kids have it easy, you know? When I was a kid, I had to walk barefoot uphill just to smoke out of an Arizona can with some kid named Dakota. <laughs> As soon as you hit it, he's like, yo, blow it into this paper towel roll that I stuffed with three soap dry sheets. They're not even gonna know. Holy shit, you're a genius. They never knew. Or maybe they knew, but they just like liked the effort we like went through to hide it. They're like, alright, well, like at least I'm being respectful. Yeah, I don't know, man. Alright, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. I'm gonna do something stupid. Alright? This is, uh... This is my impression of an Italian guy who works at a sperm bank. Oh, get a load of this guy! It wasn't good as a Jesus thing. I wasn't prepared. Man. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like doing drugs always lands you in jail, though. You know? No. No? I mean, not if you're smart. You know? If you're, like, dumb like me and just doing fucking... I just do whatever in public, you know? Public intoxication and shit. Yeah. You know, I went into jail right at the start of COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Sucks. Look at me. Do I look like I? Yeah, but... Uh, where, where, where? Yeah, thank you. So, yeah, I went in right at the start of COVID. I thought I was fucked, you know? I asked for large, but they gave me extra small, you know? So now I'm walking through the hallway, guys are whistling. It's over! But... But, hold on, hold on. They said, due to health regulations, everyone has to shower separately. So on the outside, I was like, man, that sucks. We gotta wait to take a shower? But on the inside, I was like, yeah, let's go! I don't know who's gonna get my back, though, so. Be nice. Anybody been to jail here? Anybody? Don't be scared. I'm a felon too. It's all right. Bob's on here. But, yeah, I don't know, man. Trying to get out of jail and then date is the worst. You know? It's like you meet somebody and you ask them, you know, what do you do? Oh, I'm a teacher. Oh, perfect. I'm a fella. You can bring me around the kids. I don't know. Oh, man. I feel like a man of That's That's a Woo! Woo! No! Yeah, fuck. Future, man, this shit blows, you know? This shit blows. 
I mean, even now, there's a whole new part of iPhones that if and when you die, everyone you, or, or not everyone, someone you love can go through all the data that you've ever been through in your life. I'm a felon. I don't want that. Is that your version of giving me the light? No? I don't know. Huh? I have a minute? Alright, alright. We're gonna go out with a bang. I did not plan accordingly. Alright, look people. Here's the thing. We're all gonna die someday. We're all gonna fucking die. Alright? But me, personally, I have almost died six, seven times. Whatever, you know? But here's the thing, I always ask the Lord, what is it with the fucking foreplay? You know? You take me halfway like most guys. Don't even finish me off. I'm just saying, Lord, don't fuck me if you're not gonna make my eyes roll back. Have a good night, I'm Dana Fuller. Follow me